So in this video, we're going to discuss the anatomy of the large intestine. So as we discussed in the last video, the large intestine's main role is going to be to absorb water and also secrete mucus to allow feces to exit the body. Before we even start with feces, what's going to happen is that chyme that came from the small intestine where the nutrients were being absorbed is going to enter through the iliocecal junction, which is right about here. So ilio from ilium, food's going to enter from the ilium and go into the cecum, which is this part of this large intestine. From here, the feces will travel upwards, up the ascending colon, it's in the name, it's going to ascend. From there, the feces will move transversely across the colon through the transverse colon. Then it will descend or go down the descending colon. And lastly, it will go through the sigmoid colon, which has a little bit of a loop in it, hence the name sigmoid, kind of looks like the Greek letter sigma. And then it'll go into the rectum, followed by the anal canal, which we'll talk about in about two seconds. Before we do that, here's an image of that ileocecal junction that I discussed earlier. So here's the ilium of the small intestine and where it connects to the cecum of the large intestine. Diverticula, these are some terms you may have heard before. These are like little pockets that we find in the small intestinal walls or the large intestinal walls, and hence the reason we're showing it in this video. So it could be in the small intestine as well. However, um, it's more common in the large intestine. This is typically due to the weakening of the muscles of the large intestine, and um, these little pockets form in those walls. These can get inflamed, and hence the term diverticulitis, where it's inflammation of these diverticula. The last thing to discuss is how feces leaves the body. So from the sigmoid colon, the feces is going to enter the rectum. And as it fills the rectum, it'll start to apply pressure to the inside of the walls of the rectum and therefore send a stimulus to the brain telling it that we need to remove this waste. The brain will then send signals down to the internal anal sphincters as well as the external anal sphincters. And then from here, one of two things happen. Either they relax or because we've kind of trained ourselves at this point, I hope, um, we decide, you know, maybe we should go to the bathroom right now. So that way we can fully relax these muscles and then the feces can exit the body. So at this time, if you guys have any questions on anything large intestine, please let me know.